What's going on guys? K Money here. I got a treat for you. Oh, it's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Check this out. Bought some plants. Look at all those. And a few other things. A little Miracle Grow Quick Start, some rooting powder for something else, some cocoa fiber, an LED light. Pots, timer, and a big ass rack that I'm going to be able to use to put a bunch of plants on. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is make some soil, some substrate. What we're going to use here is some forest floor, some good cypress mulch, very commonly used in the pet tray, reptiles and amphibians. I personally have some in there with my mixture here. Some sphagnum moss. Um, this, the leca is not for the soil, it goes for beneath it, but this is a cocoa fiber substrate. It's a super compressed dried brick. You just add water to this and it expands. We'll have that. Some activated carbon. And generally I put some play sand in it, but I wasn't able to find any anywhere. I don't know, summertime I guess everyone's making little outdoor litter boxes for their kids to play in. Where's my bucket? We're gonna get my substrate bucket and let's get started on it. All right, so we're gonna start with the bucket here. Pop this thing open, maybe. Come on! All right, so got a little bit of substrate in there from before. I'm gonna take this bucket here and we're gonna put this brick in it. Okay. So now we've got that brick in here, I'm going to add I'm going to add a gallon of water to it. And this water has been treated with Reptisafe, it is just tap water. And you're thinking to yourself, holy shit, that's a lot of water. Just you wait and see. All right, so now you can see that it's, <laughs> I mean, it's absorbed all that water. There's nothing left down in there. And there's still some big tr dry chunks in this that haven't expanded. And it filled this bucket up. So let's get this transferred over to this big tub here so we can break this up a little bit more and, and let, it, let it expand some more. All right, so now this is all, all absorbed up. We're gonna make a little bit of room here. That's to the side. I'm gonna take this tub, which I still have all my all my plants in it. These are gonna make some great additions to my collection and points of interest for my terrarium that we're gonna be building. I really, really like these red veins. These things are gorgeous. All right, so we've got our large tub. Oh, this is heavy. We're gonna plop this stuff out. Oh, I got it all over me. Gotta break this all up, make sure it's all working up nicely. Alright. So on top of that, we're gonna add some of this. The cypress mulch will help give the the substrate better drainage. The sand would do the same, but this will also help retain moisture at the same time. 
That will absorb quite a bit of mulch or moisture. That's quite good. And we'll get that mixed in. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Now we're gonna add some sphagnum moss. up okay so we've got that now we're going to add some activated charcoal this is filtration that's about that much all right and now we're going to mix this all up that all mixed in there all right so take take a look at this look just nice and airy it's got all the layers that it needs to it all the good stuff it needs to it it'll be great great soil all right so now in preparation of putting these plants into new pots or into the terrarium itself I need to remove the department store dirt it's no good it, it's it served its its purpose for what short period of time it was but it's it's just not gonna not gonna cut it for me so I remove the pot and we're just gonna break away as much of this dirt as we can loosen up some of these roots see I've got looks like I've got three different plants in this one nice very nice so we're just going to break this thing up, give a couple of little shakes. Let's try and separate these plants out. Really not a lot of, a lot of substrate in this pot, it's mostly roots at this point. Just being gentle, just moving the roots from side to side, trying not to break them. Just pushing the substrate away from them. You see here, I'm just kind of like pushing the roots from one side to the other. Just making openings so the, the substrate can fall away. Pulling the roots apart gently, trying not to just, just jam it and pull it apart, but you know, separating them, saying like that. Now at this point I can kind of just kind of pull that apart. I've got one plant there. I'll set you right there for the moment. Keep working on this guy here. Looks like those roots go to that. And see when you pull them apart like that, you can you can separate what roots go to which plant. All right, so I got those three out. We're going to go ahead and do that to this croton as well. Put that there so I can remember that's that. Separate this croton. See, this one's got thicker roots, heavier roots. Not as many fine roots to it. So this is... There. That was just easy. Dirt just kind of fell right out of it. All right, so that was the red vein. That's that. Let's take, should we do this big one? Yeah, let's do this thing. What is this? This thing's really cool. <laughs> Purple waffle. All right. I'm just squeezing the side of the pot like that to release the root structure, which this is, you can tell this has been in this pot for way too long. Its roots have started to encircle. This one's going to be difficult to pull apart. Ooh, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different trunks to this one. Maybe with as bound as this one is, maybe I don't separate this one. I just pull the surface 
dirt off as much as I can. A couple good shakes. You see this this is this root. Look at this. This root is coming up out of the top of the plant. See that? Above the ground. Same thing with this one. So this would be ground level here. So these, these two roots, you, these aren't necessary. I mean, we can just use my, the sharpness of my thumb and just just snap that right off. Come down into the center. I think that's good. I think that's most of the topsoil off of there. Looks like we've got four. We got five different plant sections here. So I'm just going to leave that like that. We can just plant that in a pot, and it will spread out from there. Get once it has that extra room, and it can spread out from there and form itself a, a nice root structure and a better sized pot for it. All right, so let's get. What do we have here? My full name is Houseplant. Look at that. My full name is Houseplant. That's reversed because this is the selfie camera. It's beautiful home decor. My name is Houseplant. Okay. What is this? What is this? Tell me in the comments below. It's pretty. I feel like it's going to become a really, really good looking plant. But it... I have no idea what it is because they put house plant down. Because somebody's too lazy to look it up. Alright, so give it a couple squeezes to loosen that dirt up. Oh yeah, I don't, this one's just this one's just gonna fall right up. And now this little guy here, this is another red vein. This one, I don't know if I'm going to put this one or the other one. I might put the other one. Where'd it go? It's in here somewhere. Oh, right here. I think I might leave this one intact as its own little group. And this one just may end up getting put into a little pot. I've got one of these. i got one of these clay pots here. Yeah, I think it's going to just go into this pot. Because I like how it's already got its flower leads. And it's starting to flower already. See that flower there? So, yeah. This would be this would be one of my collection display pieces. So, I'll just go through and take a lot of this top soil off. Now, I'm not trying to separate this one at all. I am just going to loosen up these roots some so that it knows it, that it can spread some more and there's more room for it. A couple more shakes, see how it fits. Fits nicely. Alright, let's put a little bit of soil in here. Pull this thing out. Put this tray underneath of it real quick. So that way I don't get any soil all over my table. Although I'm going to regardless. All right, put a little bit on the bottom there. Let's get this back out like this. All right, so we got a little bit in the bottom. It sits pretty decent. So this one's so far on the end here. I might just push it all to this one side. So a little bit of soil on this side here. Push it over. And then make a hole and shove some in here. See, look at that. Put a little bit more in. Push it down in. So that's potted in pretty good. It feels like it's got a decent amount of soil around it now. Okay. Good stuff, we'll put it over here. All right, so there you have the first one, my red vein, what's that say? 
Fitonio Arrino. I'm from Peru. So, put that in there. And that can now go in the window or on the display shelf. We'll see. All right, let's get back to these plants over here, though. So now we've got all of these separated. Most of the so substrate's been removed. Um, I could go as far as rinsing these off to rinse all of the dirt out so that there wasn't any of the any of the previous substrate to it. But I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Chances are I won't get any infestations or anything from it. So actually before we pop these, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our terrarium prepped. Because we'll put some of these in the terrarium and then what we don't put in we'll have to pot. So let's do it like that. So now I've got this big two gallon glass cookie jar, pickle crock, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It needs a little bit of cleaning, but I have a lid for it. It'll be perfect, but it's nice and tall. I can put my Lika pellets on the bottom, about two inches of substrate, and then whatever kind of decor and plants that I'm going to put in it. So let's grab some cleaner, some paper towels, and it's kind of filthy. Let's get this thing cleaned up. So now that we got her all nice and cleaned up, spots right there. Now we're going to look at, look at it, because there's always going to be imperfections in the glass. Minute cracks, sub cracks, pitting, whatever. You want to find your best, see like right here? I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. But there's like, like a bubble, a wave. So I don't want that to be in the, in the front because that's just going to distort my view. And then I've got some lines that looks like that come through here. And one that goes down like this. So right there. That's going to be my front right there. That's done. Now we're going to take this Mika. This is uh, expanded clay pebbles. Let's see, looks like cocoa puffs, but it's 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 clay. And it makes an amazing drainage layer. It's super lightweight. It has an, an aesthetic visual to it. Alright, so we'll put a layer of that down. It doesn't need to be too very deep. It's just enough that for when any moisture flows through the substrate and goes down that way it has a place to go instead of just sitting in just sitting in the soil and causing rot and root rot and stuff like that all kinds of problems can come from that right. so there there we that should be enough for our drainage layer there now we need to put a separation a barrier between that in this and your substrate now, if you just put your substrate directly on top of your, your Lika pellets, eventually all of your substrate is just going to mix down into it, and you won't have a drainage layer anymore, and defeats the purpose. Now, if you take some of this screen here, um, don't use the aluminum screen. It's, it's a fabric screen. You want to use this, because this isn't going to rust. It's not going to leach anything into your soils and substrates and it's just gonna it's gonna work so much better all right so first thing i'm gonna do is go get an actual pair of scissors all right i got scissors okay so now i'm just gonna cut a chunk off it's roughly the size a little bigger Then my jar. Damn it. There. Toss you out of the way. Okay. 
I'm going to set this on top because I need to cut this out so that it is slightly bigger than the interior of the jar. Slightly bigger because you need that little extra to make sure that your substrate doesn't mix down into your drainage layer. And by making it a little bit bigger, you create that little extra. So now if you got the size, then a little bit, little substrate can get down the sides and stuff like that. It's what we're trying to avoid. So, take my scraps, toss them away, take this, and I'm just going to clean it up a little bit so it's a little bit more appearance friendly. Alright. So there I've got my round, that's going to go in, and down, all right, so now I've got my, my barrier layer in, and I've got it so that it rolls up and in, so that way when I add my soil to it, soil in here right now. Now it will uh, just push it against the side and act and act like a little wall. Okay. More. Now when you put your substrate in, you want to push it down the sides. Okay? Because what that's doing now is it's just going to just going to push it down and seal that that barrier. And then you can take push that down in. All right. Now you don't want to pack your soil, especially not yet. All right. So now we've got a good two inches, roughly two two and a half inches of substrate. That's about perfect. That's what you want. At this point, if you're going to put any hardscape in, hardscape being rocks, wood, um, any kind of decoration pieces that isn't soil or plants, if you want to put those in, now is the time to do that. I've got some things in here like some pieces of bark. I've got gravel. More bark, some various sticks and twigs, some pieces of slate, some really, really cool shaped pieces of slate, or sandstone, rather, some cork bark, this really cool big square rock that I found. And here we've got some more various pieces of roots. I got some white stones, pine cones. What about this big guy? Let me just shove him right in the middle. Something like that. That actually wouldn't be too bad. Actually, put the substrate behind it. I can put a, a vining plant or something in there. Get you a little closer here. Because, yeah, this stuff, that just isn't going to work. I can use some of this gravel to put in there as well. Okay, yeah, I like that. That'll work. So now let's grab this guy. Yeah, we'll put this guy in there. Put him up right here on the side. Yeah, let's put him right there. So make a little pocket. Put him down in there. Push the dirt over top of him. Push down.
There we go. And then that can kind of just grow like that. Now, let's grab one of the smaller guys. And we'll make a little pocket. Put them down in there. Push some substrate over top of them. Something on that side. I'm trying to keep my arm out of the way, but just not. It's not happening. All right. So that looks that looks pretty cute. I like that color. God, I love that pink. And then it's gonna grow these beautiful yellow flowers. All right. So now let's put. No. No, we're not gonna do that. But we are going to take a piece of this ivy, a piece of this California fan ivy. Check that stuff out, and I can get a good close look at it. Good root structure, yeah. See, see this right here? Just coming out of the side. There's another one right there. Just coming out of the side. This thing will continue to root itself up. Now, question is, do we put it back here so that it works its way around? Put it underneath of this, this one, so this guy can grow up over, over top of it. Yeah, let's do that. And then this root structure, pack down like that. A little bit of soil on top of it. All right. So now this ivy will just—it'll just vine itself around. It'll be pretty prolific. That's for sure. All right. So far, that's that's looking really really nice. Let me let me give you. Oops. Quick rundown, which you'll see from the front. But yeah, that will be pretty. Now I'll put some moss right here. We'll have to we'll have to find some real quick. Now that I've got those couple plants in. I'm going to take some moss that I have here, and I've pre-soaked it. And now we're just going to just going to build the the floor with it. Okay. Run the run itself along. I'm going to put a few pieces in here. It'll make a really, really nice color contrast between these pinks and this and the light color of this stone, which I'm really in love with. Actually, just the way this thing is put itself together. And that's that's the nice thing about these terrariums is once you find the parts that you want. They pretty much just put themselves together. All right, and then this is a big, big heavier pillow moss. You can see it's already, it's already done its thing. Put up its little spores. And I think what I might do is put this up here at the top. Just kind of give it. A little pillow. Well, I mean, it is pillow moss, but at the top of moss. So now we've got all of that. I'm looking at it from the front. I mean, it's it's coming together. Coming together. Fix this a little bit so it sticks out more. You know what we might do with this this piece of pillow moss here? end up doing is we're just gonna 
just going to tear it. So I have a piece. And that little piece is then going to go up here. Yeah, that, that looks a lot better. A little piece up there instead of the big chunk. That, that definitely looks a lot better. Alright. So now... Actually, that's enough moss. There's a little piece right here. I'll fill in that little hole. Alright, so that's enough moss for right now. So, I mean, I think that's that's looking sharp. That's looking sharp. But now we get to put some more hardscape on top of the moss. You know. Some sticks. Ooh, some small pieces of bark. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, look at this little chunk of cork bark. We can put that right there to, like, cover up one of the seams between the mosses. Yeah. And then, get that guy out of here. We've got all kinds of little pieces. And see, what you can do too is just take like this little handful and just... Because nature's not going to be perfectly clean. You know? And then maybe take a couple of these little, little white rocks. Okay. Maybe... Little bits of gravel. Let's kind of make a little pile of gravel right here. Now, if there's if you put something in, come around to this side. If you put something in that you don't like, you know, you can just always just reach in and grab it. You know? Like this is this feels a little too heavy like that. Let's move that over there. I actually don't like these white rocks being in there. So let's pull them out. It's just a piece of bark. Take this piece of leaf litter. Put that over there. You know, I think this is turning out really well. I do... I do want one thing I think. I think I need that one's dark. Let's put this right here. So we need there we go. Just kind of push this thing down with my little tongs. Push it around the edge. Come back and look at it some more. That looks nice. Push this, push this down some, maybe. Come on. Come on, cooperate with me, Ivy. There we go. And now as this grows out, it'll grow along this and put its own little, uh, little roots down a bit. I think for right now, I want to say that that looks like she's done. Next step, if you've got one of these, this makes life super, super, super easy. Take this little garden sprayer. Now you see how along the side of the wall here, we got all kinds of little dirts. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spray it off the edges, spray off the glass first, okay? This cleans any debris, anything like that off. And rinse everything off this rock because this rock's going to be nice and clean. And now we're watering. We're watering everything. There we go. Look how great that is. It'll be nice and clean. So then I'm going to take my tongs right here and another piece of paper towel. So this paper towel, I'm just going to fold, grab it with my tongs, like so. And then I'm pushing down this time. I'm pushing any dirt or debris back down. 
to the bottom. Cleaning the glass off at the same time. You mean? Got some dirt. All right. That, boys and girls, is pretty much completed. And there we go. And here's what I'm talking about, about the roots with those ivies. Just, because it's planted way back here. And it's grown. And it's rooted itself up here and here. But there you go. And that is the terrarium. All right, so we got everything put back up on the shelves now. We got all my ivies put up here. Got a lot of ivies. Look at them all. I still need to get actual pots for these two. So that way when I water them, they don't get all over my living room. But otherwise, We've got these guys right here. Put them there. I think these will these will look nice. Then just a bag of leaf litter. And then we got these guys over here. And now, now I have a whole shelf that I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with for terrariums. Oh yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for everything that I can put into it. Well, it looks like I need to get some more glass. I mean, I've got these two little guys up here, but they're small. I want to do another, not quite this big. Maybe, maybe I need to find some more pickle jars. Cause these, these work really, really well. Yeah, pickle jars. I like them. They're just perfect size, and just look how, look how prolific, look, look how much moss, this moss has just exploded in it, and all the algae, oh, and look at the, look at the little guy, come on, focus, there we go, it won't focus, oh well, there they are, thanks for watching, please, since you made it this far, why not click the subscribe button, it helps my channel, Hit the little bell notification because that tells you when I've posted a new video about all my awesome plants. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check me out on my other social medias. Links in the description below. Peace.